life is one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. Blessing men and women of God. This is your main man, Minister David Benton, CEO and founder of Beyond Offense Entertainment. We want to welcome you to the Elation Honors pre-gala concert. Yes, Elation Honors pre-gala concert, November 15th at 9 p.m., 870 Eagle Road, Brentwood, Missouri. Be there because God is going to show up and show out. Shout out to
for joining us. Hallelujah. Welcome to Shabbat Saturday. Hallelujah. And I have a question for you. In light of this awesome worship song, and I, I pray that I'm able to meet this man of God one day because the song is so impactful. Glory to God. Did you know that you were created for that, to worship God? Amen. The word of God says in Revelation 4, 11, you are worthy, O oh Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and they exist because you created what you pleased. Amen. That just, oh my God, just hearing that, you don't know how much joy that brings to me. I don't know about you, but when I hear that word, it gives me such purpose. Amen in realizing that I was created to worship God. We go through life making so many decisions and creating unnecessary mm, headaches and um, conflicts and things that bring us stress. But if we just get back to the basic and understand the reason and purpose of why we are here, why we were created, I believe that we are to be the example, amen, his example, Jesus, glory to God. And I believe that it is in his heart and that is his very cry that we would would duplicate him here in this earth realm. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. But I digress, amen. We should balk him on today, glory to God. I am your host, Pastor Dawn. Amen. And because we Shabbat him every Saturday, I believe that we cry out to him. We give him that resounding sound, that sound that creates a change, that creates a shift. Amen. Because the Lord said in his word that when we cry out to God and give thanks in spite of our difficulties, amen, that he hears us. I'm paraphrasing. I think about a couple of weeks ago, there was a rainbow in the sky, amen, after this really horrible storm. The rainbow is a symbol of God's protection and of his promise throughout our life. The promise given to Noah, amen, is also the promise given to us. Hmm. The storms in our life do not negate the fact that we can ask for his gracious deliverance in the time of trouble. Just like Paul and Silas, remember when they were in a dungeon, my God, in the midnight hour, darkness all around them, the stench, the cold, the dampness, the cries of other men that were also locked in the prison with them, The disciples, amen, they didn't cower in fear, amen. They didn't draw into a pity party. The word of God says that they began to praise. I call it their midnight Shabbat. In the midnight hour, they begin to praise the Lord, amen, and to remember and recall his goodness towards them. They did not operate in fear or dread of what was to happen, but they were in that moment, in the present. Hallelujah. And because of that, the presence of God came. The angel of the Lord came, hallelujah, to give them assistance, that they were freed. But not only them, not only them, but the word of God says that the very 
their very, um, I think it was the captain that was in charge of them to watch over them and make sure that they didn't get away. Amen. Amen. He and his entire household was, in t- was also saved and received salvation that day. Glory to God. So they were not only just freed from their physical, amen, place of captivity, but they created a place, an atmosphere for that man and his entire family to receive, hallelujah, salvation, that they were also released and set free from their bondage and from their captivity, the captivity of their soul, the sin nature that was within them. Again, I digress. There are many things that are on my heart today, glory to God, and I was not sure how the Holy Spirit was going to allow me to say the things that I'm about to release in the next 45 minutes or so. But I believe that we have an opportunity. Mm. We have this great opportunity to trust God in spite of the chaos, in spite of the outside noise, in spite of our fears our apprehensions, in spite of glory to God, all of those things that put us in this place of fear, of doubt, of disbelief. We have an opportunity today to trust in God, Abba Father. Hallelujah. All of our prayers, amen, that we release all of our cries, that we have released all of the hours between, I like to say, the snot and the carpet. Hallelujah. And I'm sure some of you have been there. We can rest assured that God is in control, that he is not schizophrenic. He is not a wall. He has not left his throne. Glory to God. And the word of God says that Jesus sits on the right side of the Father, ever making intercession for us. Hallelujah. Let all that you are contending with, whatever it is today, in the name of Jesus, I declare today, let the presence of God come and perfect those things that concern you. He said that he would keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Hallelujah. When we get into that place of changing our perspective, glory to God. I like to say we look through the lens of the Father, and you gain that perspective by having the mind of God. And how do you have the mind of God? Thank you, Holy Spirit. By pursuing the mind of God. The Word of God says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. You have to let it happen, people of God, those under the sound of my voice. You have to have a mind to want him to have control. You have to have a mind to want him to intervene, glory to God, and to be God for you. Let him be God. The word of God says that in him We triumph always. It also says that, again, that he will give you perfect peace, not the peace of this world, not the peace that comes from yoga or some sort of new age meditation, but the peace of God that passes all understanding. It has the capacity to mount guard over your heart, and over your mind, in the name of Jesus. That's powerful when you think about it. He has the capability. He has the power because his name is also Shalom. That means he is peace. Hallelujah. And if you have God, if you have Jesus, You have peace. Jehovah Shalom. Hallelujah. That peace cannot be taken from you. Mm. 
It cannot be something that comes for a moment and then goes away. But because he is eternal and because his word is eternally established, that means that you can always have peace. A couple of days I said to someone, they sent me an inbox me, they messaged me, and it, it was of urgency. And they were disturbed in their spirit. And the only thing that the Spirit of the Lord said to me to tell them was, go in the presence of God. Go into the presence of God. I say that because when you are in the presence of God, mm, something has to change. Glory to God. Your very nature has to change. Your attitude has to change. Whatever is happening inside of you, if it is not in alignment with who he is, it has to change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why? Because he is God. And everything unlike him in his presence cannot dwell there. Light and darkness cannot abide in the same space and place. I think that's why Psalms 91 is so close to my heart. Because it says, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high God. That means that it is an action. I need to go there. Hallelujah. I need to find that place. I need to abide and dwell in that place that's called the secret place where the presence of God is supposed to be apparent. It is not a, ge a geographical space. Glory to God. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to go to the mountains to find him or go to the ocean, to the beach to find him. It could be your closet. It could be where you are right now. Glory to God. It is beginning first in your heart and mind that you go within a place with inside yourself. You go in in the spirit because what it says that we must what? He is God. He is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So the only way to get there is we take our spirit man to that place that's called the secret place of the most high, where we can abide. Abiding means that you have literally just put yourself in a place and you are there. Not alone, but with him. Abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. And the Word of God says that when we get to that place and space in Him, He becomes our refuge. He will be our fortress. He will be our refuge and our fortress. And because we are what? Abiding and dwelling in him. We can trust him in that place and space. Glory to God. That he will deliver us. Glory to God. He will deliver us. He will protect us from the snare of the fowler. Mm. From the nosen pestilence. Everything outside side has no bearing, has no relevance when we are in that place, that secret place. It becomes quiet enough that we begin to get that download of the wisdom, the answer that is needed, the strategy that is needed. Hallelujah. In him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. Glory to God. It also says that we will not be afraid. Fear cannot dwell where there is belief. God believes his word. He stands on his word. He's not a man that he should lie. He even what? 
in his word, he abides. Oh, Jesus. He and his word are one in agreement. Glory to God. So we cannot be afraid for the terror by night. We cannot be afraid of the what the headlines. We cannot be afraid of the no and pestilence. We cannot fear, hallelujah, what man shall do unto us. Because we are abiding, we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God. It does not matter what is falling around us. I've been hearing so many things of what's to come. And I believe it is a spirit of terror that is trying to be released. But we cannot fear. We cannot walk in fear. Why Because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. And guess what? We got help. Glory to God. He said that he would give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. My God. And they will bear you up in their hands. You have an angelic arsenal that is waiting for you to say something. Give them their instructions. They are standing at attention waiting for you to give them their instructions. What do you need? They hearken unto every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. What are you saying? What instructions are you giving them? If you say hallelujah, that you will speak to that mountain, be thou what? Removed. Be thou removed. I'm going to say it one more time. Be thou removed. And what? Cast into the sea. That means that whatever circumstance Whatever situation, whatever problem, my first consideration should be, what am I going to say in this situation, Lord God? How do you want me to address it? It's always going to be through the word, people of God. In his word, there is a wealth of wisdom, of instruction, of direction that he has placed there specifically and strategically for you. He said, have faith in me. Have faith in me. It says have faith in God. I am saying have faith in me. I'm speaking. God is saying have faith in me. For surely, assuredly, that means that you can rest assured on this word. It is what? The last word, what I say shall come to pass. I will even hasten to perform it. Say unto this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea, but do not doubt in your heart. You have to believe what you say. And then whatever you say, you will have it. The word of God says, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. What are you saying when opposition comes, people of God? Are you running scared? Amen. Are you going into a a tizzy? Can I be transparent with you? I had a moment. Glory to God. But I got right back into position real quick. Amen. Because we have relationship with the Holy Spirit. He will always be speaking to you. Because he's supposed to be our counselor, our advocate. He gives us wisdom. And he will never speak hallelujah unless what the Father has already spoken. We can have confidence in our Father, amen, that when we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, when we are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, that is so powerful. 
if you can just get a hold of that. That is like you're in this, 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 I call it the force field. Hallelujah. And I think that Moses, Moses got a glimpse of that and understood it when he was in the cliff of the rock in the mountain. And he came back with that residue. Everywhere that he went, there was a, the continents of glory on him. He was still abiding. Mm, hear what I'm saying? He was still abiding in the presence of God, getting downloads of how to walk in and out before the people. That is what we need this day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe the Spirit of God wants us to take it up. Hallelujah. Take it up. Tighten. Tighten your discernment. Sharpen your hearing. Speak the word. There is power in the spoken word of God. You are not without help. There is angelic arsenal waiting for you to give instructions. Hallelujah. It does not matter. All of the charismatic garbage and messiness and all of the naysayers and no-sayers, all of the circumstances that are saying no when God has said yes, those things are temporal. For we look not on the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen, for they are what eternal So I am not moved by the numbers or the digits in my bank account. I'm not moved by the notices that I may receive. I'm not moved. Oh, my God. I'm not moved by the numbers that are not reflecting what my heart would would want. I'm not moved by that. But you're moved by something so much greater than you. And it's a force to be reckoned with. It is the life and nature of God. That is within you. Hallelujah. Again, in him, not in your circumstance, in him you move and live and have your being. The word of God says also in Psalms 91, when you call upon me, I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. I believe in this season that there is something so phenomenal and supernatural that is happening in the spirit for the people of God. Where those that were saying no to you are now saying yes. Doors are being opened that were closed. Amen. I mean supernatural miracles are manifesting. There is a download of God's grace and his power and his anointing in his, this season. That is a Shabbat moment for me. Amen. Because I know that it is none of me but all of who he is. And it is all of who he is to you and the purpose that he has called you to, men and women of God. And even you, hallelujah, even you that do not know him yet. It is not by accident that you may be listening, whether on the line or through the Internet. Amen. But I believe that this is a Kairos moment, even for you, hallelujah, that God is doing something so phenomenal in this season. He is opening, I'm telling you, open, open, open crazy doors right now for his people. So if there is that book that you've been sitting on, oh, my God, today, who am I talking to? Write it. Take out your pen and paper today and start. Begin now. Hallelujah. If it's you, he's looking, they're letting you look at a territory, a region that he wants you to go. Go in the name of Jesus. Have no fear. Have no trepidation. God is with you. Hallelujah. If he's telling you, I want you to go and to talk to them again, and they will say yes this time. Hallelujah. Go 
in the name of Jesus. Because God is with you. Somebody needs to Shabbat the Lord right now. I just feel that so strong. God is with you. Hallelujah. Why? Because you are learning how to abide in him and dwell in that secret place. You are learning to Shabbat him and praise him and worship him in the midst of the chaos. Because you have found that place and space, hallelujah, where all things are possible to him that believes in the name of Jesus. I am shabaking him today because he is our shepherd. And he will lead us in the path of righteousness. We need not fear, people of God. Hallelujah. We dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank him because he is consistent when I am not consistent. Hallelujah. He always shows up on time. Created time. Hallelujah. He is not bound by time. He knows the beginning and the end. So, hey, I think I'm walking with pretty good company. Amen. I'm walking with the one who knows all things. I'm walking with the one who knows the very hairs on my head. Hallelujah. I'm walking with the one that disclosed the promise of my life to me and my destiny and purpose and why. Glory to God. He is ordering my steps. He is ordering your steps right now. So have a brave heart. Do not fear. Do not doubt God. Doubt is not of him. It is not his nature. Hallelujah. And no, you are dwelling in the secret place. Everything outside of that space may be shaking, may look like it's sinking, may look like it's not going anywhere. But when you are moving and living and having your life and expression in him and in him is life, hallelujah, then you should have great exceeding joy because you are in good company, glory to God. And his purpose and will shall prevail. It faileth not. Glory to God. I know that even right now, there's a great shaking and shifting. God is changing, I like to call it the chairs, amen, and using the foolish things to confound the wise. You may be a David, hallelujah, amongst many giants, but guess what? God is favored David. Hallelujah. You may have had your Joseph experience or may currently be in it, but guess what? Mm. God favored Joseph. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he favors you. And he has the final word. Hallelujah. And he has given us authority through his word to speak, and to say something that we can say to that mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. We can say, according to his word, whatsoever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever we loose here on earth is loose in heaven. Glory to God. We can Shabbat our awesome God. Hallelujah. We are encouraged. We are strengthened. Mm. We have help. Glory to God. We are not alone because God favors us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? Glory to God. The word of God constantly encourages me. And I pray that it is encouraging you even right now. Hallelujah. 
I said earlier, whatever you may be contending with, whatever it is, hallelujah, I decree and declare that the spirit of the living God is changing the situation on your behalf. You do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. My God, today, you have help, and you are on the winning side. You are fighting against demonic opponents. opponents. Yes, that may be true. Amen. But I believe that the Spirit of God can place a wall of fire around them and prevent them from coming against you and stop them in their tracks because God is with you. His love is towards you. Precious strength. Saints, the word of God says, glory to God, that one can put a thousand of flight. Two can put 10,000 of flight. You may be in distress. You may be stressed. You may think that you are drowning. But he said that the waters would not overtake you. The fire would not burn you. My God, today. You shall come forth as pure as gold, according to the word of God, because he has established a covenant with you. Ha! And that covenant is forever established. He will not break it. You would have to be the first one to break it, but he will not. The covenant which he has between you and him is perpetual, and it's even extended to the generations that come behind you. Hallelujah. The sign of the covenant between man and the Father, it is eternally established. Remember that. That is the truth, and the enemy cannot disqualify it in the name of Jesus. It is eternally established. Hallelujah. And then that covenant, it's speaks clearly and loudly that God is for you. Hallelujah. He is for you and not against you. Glory to God. And it is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Hallelujah. That speaks volumes to me when I think about it. That he had me on his mind. He has you on his mind. And the word of God says that he is ever making intercession for us. Crying out for us. Hearing us and answering us. Amen. And we shall overcome. We shall prevail. We shall have victory in the name of Jesus. We are not in a losing battle, people of God. As a matter of fact, the word of God declares and decrees that we have already won. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is a fixed fight is what I call it. Hallelujah. We have already won. And we triumph always in him. I'm going to keep saying that until there's no more breath in me. We triumph always in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Why? Because he has given us a promise. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, then you will ask and it will be given to you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, everything that the enemy attempts to do to derail you from the purpose of God. It is a lie straight from the pit of hell. You have been anointed. You have been appointed. You have been called. You have chosen, and you have been purposed in the name of Jesus. Remember, the enemy cannot stop or kill what God has anointed, Hallelujah. He cannot curse what God has blessed, and he cannot change what God has already spoken. Hallelujah. He cannot block what God has called to arise and shine. 
So be at peace, knowing that God is on your side. Hallelujah. And he is for you and not against you. No one can stop what he has promised for those that seek him diligently. Nothing. Why? Again, because there is nobody greater than our Father God. The Father never asks us to do anything or go through anything that he will not empower us to go through. He gives us grace to endure. So don't doubt what God has spoken to you. What he is going to do for you in this season is phenomenal. Hallelujah. I pray that he blows your mind in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I say this often, that we are at our place of victory, and we receive it, people of God. Receive it in this hour. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you that you will dem- demonstrate your, your mighty deliverance in this hour for your people. I shabak you today, Lord God. I expect a great move of God in your lives during this season. And I decree and declare that his mighty acts of deliverance, his mighty acts of release, his mighty acts of breakthrough, ha, huh, his mighty acts will Turn it around in your favor. Align yourself. Be in position. Don't fret. Don't allow the enemy to move you out of position. Don't worry. Let your petition and your praise, just like Paul and Silas, go forth instead. Shabbat him out of your place. Hallelujah. Of bondage, my God, today. Shabbat him for your spiritual breakthrough that is taking place now. Stop doubting God. Make your petitions known to him. Hallelujah. You can believe in him. He can take you from where you are now to where you are to be to fulfill your purpose in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, fill this broadcast. Fill this broadcast with your presence, with your glory. Those who are under the sound of my voice now, hallelujah, and those that will be listening later, hallelujah, let them experience a great manifestation of your power and your presence. Touch the life and nature of God within them, Father God. Change is taking place in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for stopping by for another, hallelujah, very special Shabbat Saturday. Thank you, Kimmy Kim and Elation Radio and iHeart and Spricker Radio and YouTube for this platform for God's people. I pray the Lord will continue to bless you, continue to enlarge your borders and territories in the matchless name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me on this Shabbat Saturday. Hallelujah. And I pray that you will come back next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, for another Shabbat Saturday at this great station. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kimmy Kim, our producer, for your example, Mm, woman of God, your lion heart, you have a lion's heart. You are so courageous, yet so gracious. I love you to life. May the Lord God continue to use you greatly, woman of God. Now, please, close us out. Shalom. Most high God shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. If you believe.